Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we are at Tokyo Expressway, this time East Inner Loop. As you can see on the screen, uh, we are using the McLaren. Uh, for this instance, for example, this is one of the fastest cars in the game. So, gotta make sure that you use this. Also, this time we gotta use the racing car tires. It's the mandatory tire and the only one available. So, I would like to get started now. So let's get going guys, first you gotta make sure that you look for the 150 meter sign and break exactly at that point, so breaking at 150, breaking in the straight line as usual, so when you kind of reach the 50 meter sign, maybe a little bit after it, you start to steer in a corner, so hitting that apex, actually the first apex and going here for the second apex and full throttle in the first gear and then up shifting in the second so this will help you massively improve your overall time through the sector so again look for your next reference point uh, which is also in front of you and this time is the 50 meter sign so this this one is really tough so you got to make sure that you break in the straight line a little bit downshift in the fourth gear and then start a steer so make sure that you stay as close as possible to the walls but do not do not hit them so th this this will help you uh, improve on your time so again look for your uh, next reference point on the right so this is the point when you slowly tap the brakes just tapping the brakes and it's all about mm, travel management, I would say, and gotta make sure that you straighten the car up as fast as you possibly can, so you can get a decent run onto the next section. So again here, just a little lift, nothing too much. I was a little bit behind of my previous best time, but, uh, but it was uh, faster overall. So again here, gotta make sure that you look for the shadow, the first shadow in front of you and a little bit after, somewhere in between the two shadows, lift off and start the steer into the corner. It's really hard to judge, it will take you a couple of tries but gotta make sure that you use it, uh, use it like that, breaking somewhere in the middle of those shadows. And now look for your 50 meter sign, slowly, slowly tapping the brakes, nothing too much as I said before and just gotta make sure that you hit that uh, lines nice and easy. Do not, I mean a lot of people can overjudge the corners and uh, kind of be a little bit too aggressive in this area but I would really suggest that you take it easy, uh, take your time, do not be aggressive all the time because you will hit the wall and you will lose a lot of time especially during the race so it will it can kill your race eventually uh, if you're fighting for uh, fighting for uh, fighting for the position so uh, again our last breaking point as usual so you got to make sure that you hit that apex nice and easy here i was kind of uh, releasing the brakes when i hit this apex so releasing the brakes again on the throttle so you can see my throttle limpets here and when you kind of reach this point this is the point when you slowly coast so this is all about coasting and hitting the apex on the left nice and easy and staying as close as possible to the walls to maximize your time gained in each section so uh, really got to make sure that you hit it uh, nice and easy uh, also do not be too aggressive on this track uh, it will eventually uh, cost you a lot of time a lot of positions especially during the race and i would like to mention it like this so this lap time was not significantly faster than the previous one by only a couple of thousands of a second faster but again we crossed the finishing line in 156.858 which uh, I think it put me on the top 10 list so guys if you find this video helpful uh, just leave a like and also thumbs up and all of that stuff as you usually do so until the next time guys bye